Hello and welcome to my meditation. My name is Deborah Baker and I am so glad that you have joined us for this little while for some time for yourself. And today's meditation is going to be a pick-me-up. So let's get started. As usual, let's begin with our three nice, really deep breaths, breathing all the way into your belly and just filling it up, holding it for a second, and then releasing out it out really slowly. And now breathe a little more deeply, fill up your lungs a little more fully, hold it for a second, and then let it go. And now. Take the deepest breath you've taken all day. Really fill your lungs up, back, front, top, bottom. Hold it for a second, and then let it go. And now let's relax our bodies. Oh, we, you deserve this, you know, you deserve this time for yourself, bravo. So imagine, you know, like you're getting this energetic massage starting with your feet. And if you've ever had reflexology, which I highly, highly recommend, imagine that just happening. And it just feels so wonderful. All the, the tender spots on your feet getting worked out, your, each of your toes, the top sides, bottoms, backs of your feet, moving into your ankles. You know, so the spirit knows exactly what you need and you are infinite spirit having a human experience. So combine the two and you've got you. <laughs> and also a wonderful recipe when you focus on your body and your spiritual nature, a wonderful recipe for living a full life. So let's allow our infinite selves or spirit or what, you know, maybe your guardian angels to continue to massage our body. So feel it in your calves your shins, your lower legs, into your knees. Just imagine this energetic massage can release any energy that no longer serves you. And then your upper legs, you know, the largest muscles in our bodies are in our upper legs. So just allow your legs and feet to get heavy as you feel this relaxation just moving through them. A spirit is, is energy, and when we allow energy to relax us, I mean, that's what relaxation is. It's calm, peaceful energy. So now feel that energy in your pelvic floor. And the cool thing about getting a spiritual massage is it can go into your internal organs. It can go, you know, relax all those tight muscles at your pelvic floor without any sort of discomfort. Um, your sit bones your tailbone, just imagine just this energy, just releasing any tension, any shame, all through your pelvis. So from rising up from your pelvic floor, allowing your, <laughs> my stomach just rumbled. You know, it, it's, it happens, you know, you, you allow your body to relax and your digestive organs are like, finally, she's calming down enough my digestive organs are saying, finally, she's calming down enough that we can do what we're supposed to be doing here. So feel that energy through your pelvis, your lower back. Oh, I love to get the massage right around my sacrum in the back because it feels so good and this around my hip joints. So just feel that energetic massage all through your pelvis and then your midsection. And again, the energy can get all the way into those knots in your stomach. Um, the, you know, the sides, the, the stomach, the, you know, the tummy, the back, all your midsection, releasing fear and anything that no longer serves you and then feeling it move through into your rib cage, moving up one rib at a, at a time. Just imagine that energy, just gently releasing the energy at each of your ribs so that they can, you know, align the way they need to. Sometimes our ribs get slightly out of place. The sides of your rib cage, the back, the front, and all those internal organs, important internal organs right there inside our rib cage. 
moving up into your heart space, releasing, releasing any sadness, sorrow. And just feel that energetic massage around your shoulder blades <clears throat> in your collarbone. And now feel it in your fingers, tips of each of your fingers and thumbs, moving up your hands one joint at a time. And then um, into your wrists and your lower arms. Just releasing all those little places where we're holding things. We hold shame in our extremities, so maybe you're, you know, there's a, a spot of shame or guilt. Just allow it to release, feeling that energy move up through your hands, wrists, lower arms, elbows, and upper arms, your biceps, your triceps. Notice how heavy your hands and your arms have gotten. And if, as it moves up your arms into your shoulders, it also moves up through your rib cage and your torso into your shoulders. Just feel your shoulders sink down, your neck grow a little longer. And then feel it move up your neck and your throat chakras in your neck. So feel it rele release any resistance to truth. Your own, someone else's. Just allow it to allow yourself to be you know, peaceful with yourself. You know, whatever is real is real and it's okay. Whatever is real for you, whatever your perception is. Feel it moving through your neck into your chin, along your jaw, your back of your neck, especially right there at your atlas, all those nerve endings where your spinal column meets your skull, your cheeks, your lips, your teeth, your tongue, your upper lip, all through your face, all around, all around your ears, the back and sides of your head, to the level of your <clears throat> third eye, which is about seeing the truth, to release any blockages you have, to, um, you know, any unwillingness maybe to seeing what you need to see. It could be good things. And then feel that energetic massage go all the way up to the crown of your head. And notice how wonderful it feels. So, feel yourself relaxed. Spirit told me that sometimes what we need to hear is, it's okay. Everything is okay. So, and what I often do, I suppose, is first bring up what maybe feels like it's not okay. So we'll have a moment of quiet for you to just acknowledge with yourself what might feel like it's not okay today. And what, what I know to be true is that we are infinite spirits having a human experience. And our infinite spirits are one with all that is, one with God, one with infinite presence. And that presence is okay, is fine. All is well. Our infinite selves are whole and perfect, exactly as we are. So whatever it is that just came to you about uh, what might feel like it's not okay today, let's open up a door of possibility that we may not know, but God knows. And all is well. All, all is well. 
It may not feel like it is, but all is well. I talk a lot to spirits who have passed on, who, you know, left a human life you know, when they died. We call it dying, they don't call it dying. <sighs> and they tell us, tell me over and over again, tell my clients, my loved ones, all is well, everything's okay. <sighs> no. The circle of life circulates. Souls come in and souls exit. And that's not to say that we don't have a lot of emotion around that. At the same time, no one enters or leaves this earth, leaves a human life by accident. It is all in divine order. And while we, we may not like it, and it's very painful, and it's not what we want to happen, and I fully honor those emotions, I, I want to reassure you that the universe is still in order. God is still in charge, or divine presence, or oneness, or whatever you know you use to call it. Now, whatever your concept of your higher power is, it is creating divine order. It is divine order itself. It's infinite love. So, we can relax a little, knowing that we are truly not in charge. It's not up to us. There are some things that are our own thoughts, words, and actions. But the rest of it is not up to us. We can try to influence it. But ultimately, that's all we can do is try to create a space for it, try to influence it, try to encourage people or discourage people, as the case may be. But the ultimate choice, the final choice in someone else's life is theirs. And as a new parent, you figure that out pretty quickly when you're trying to get your baby to fall asleep. You may want them to sleep, you may do everything in your power, but they get to decide whether they are going to sleep or not. And we just don't know what their infinite souls are going through, what is, you know, creating the, the substance for them to make those choices, for anyone to make their choices. So let's look at our own choices. So often, and I am right there with you, so, so many of us are so hard on ourselves. I, I was brought up that way, and I suspect a lot of you were too, to the great extent that we are not even aware that we're being hard on ourselves. So let's take a moment to acknowledge you're doing a great job. Think with me, I am doing a great job. I am doing a great job. And if something came up that resisted that, well, you know, this happened or that happened, clearly if I were doing a great job, that wouldn't have happened. Let go of that. You're doing a great job. You came here to have certain experiences. Your soul wanted to have certain experiences. And I can tell you, unequivocally, you are having those experiences. You are on track. And sometimes it's, it's hard to see the path. 
There have been times when I have played golf with my husband when it's this really spread out golf course. So we get on the cart path thinking we're going to end up at the next hole and it seems like we're riding forever. And so what do we do? We trust that the path beneath our golf cart is the right one. And so much of a human experience is about trusting that we are absolutely being led to the next step. And we are absolutely being led to the next step. You are on course. And not only that, you are a beautiful, beautiful soul. Can you think that with me? I am a beautiful soul. So uh, I'll let you in on a little secret. <clears throat> there was this game that we used to play in. Um, it was kind of like a gem swap game or a bejeweled game on, on the computer. It was, a, it was a math game, actually. And so we started playing it as a family. And it's, it's fun, and it's very challenging, certain levels. And I found that once I got past this one level, at one point, years ago, something caused me to remember a very unhappy memory. And every time that I got to this level, I associated that memory with that level and I would spend the whole, you know, minute or so, you know, working out that level, feeling bad about myself for no reason. It was crazy. And so, you know, those memory associations are powerful. So I suggest in the week ahead, you look and see if you have some memory associations that um, where you're beating yourself up and you're not even aware of it. And so what I've done, I am delighted to report, <laughs> is I, as soon as that became so clear to me, I thought, well, I've got to flip this script. And so I started saying things like, Deborah, you're a wonderful soul. And so I suggest you, I, I'm a, you think this along with me, I'm a wonderful soul. I'm kind and loving. I care about the people in my life. I love dearly the people in my life. I am so grateful f to be having this human experience right now. Life is good. There may be some challenges, but I'm here. I'm, I'm still standing. I'm upright and breathing. <laughs> I'm having this precious, precious human life. And there is not a single soul I have ever channeled who didn't say, enjoy it. It goes by so quickly. And you will always be connected with your loved ones, whether they pass away or you pass away and leave them behind. You will always be connected because you are one in the infinite. There's really no separation except for this human experience, which is profound when you're having it. But when it's complete, you can be in the oneness and be one with your loved one in ways that you can't when you're in a human experience. So I invite you to not fear the next step after this human life is complete for yourself or your loved ones, and just know that everything is in divine order. You are a beautiful, beautiful soul, and I am so grateful that we have shared a bit of our human journey together. So thank you so much for tuning into my meditation. And very slowly, Take a couple nice deep breaths. And I, I really highly challenge you maybe, uh, suggest to you that in the week ahead, you become aware of your self-talk so that you can be kinder to yourself. Just try for an hour to be as kind to yourself as you are to everyone else in your life, because you are. 
I know it. And again, I thank you for joining me. And the infinite soul, the infinite presence moving in through and as me honors and recognizes the infinite presence moving in through and as you. Namaste.